One thing that irritated me recently was I read a piece about something called vocal fry, mm -hmm. where women are pitching their voices low and there was research that came out that said they're damaging their voices and damaging their careers. And I thought, women can't win. Our voices are too high and supposedly irritating, or they're too low and we're damaging our career prospects. I mean, what's this all about? Yeah, isn't it difficult? We need to understand voice better. First of all, the voice of leadership is perceived as low, low. People love a low voice. But what can women do? Because we want authenticity. So we don't want to fake it low. We want to sit where we are. And I think the key challenge is just not to send it higher um, because of our learning preference or because of our insecurity. So stay where it is don't send it higher. Vocal fry isn't just low. It is low in its pitch, but it's not just low. Vocal fry actually is a sort of a flapping of the vocal folds in the breeze. So you get that kind of thing. Which is kind of like my, you know, motto, you know, motto. Kim and Chloe just don't get it, get it, get it. And psychologically, what that means is that there's no air coming out of your body and voice is a physical force. So if there's no air coming out, there's no physical force. Tyler has a pretty good reputation in this business. So psychologically that means that I'm not really committed to the statement, I'm cool, too cool for school. And in America they found a research that said um, over 80% of people will choose the person without vocal fry over the person with vocal fry. So it's, uh, it's career prospects that are damaging.